Hello! In this video, we'll go over our new GridEye Evaluation Kit, which enables rapid prototyping for IoT and other applications. We'll go over how to set up, how to use some of the features of the kit, as well as additional resources we can provide. The GridEye AMG8834 eval features a low-gain GridEye sensor along with a PAN 1740 Bluetooth module. This kit is ideal to use with our TrackMe software to test out how well the GridEye can detect and track people. Let's take a look. So first, we need to get the software. This can be done by going to our website. From our website, you would go to Sensors, then Evaluation Kits, and then GridEye AMG8834 eval. Once you're on the eval page, you'll scroll down to the software section and click on Track Me. Now you'll fill out a form and we'll email you the software. Once you have the software downloaded, you'll need to install it on your computer. You can do this by opening the executable and then following the prompts. You'll just have to click Next, and then on this screen, you can choose where to install it and for who do you want to install it, everyone on your computer or just me. I'm just going to use just me for this process. Then Next again, and then it'll start to install. During this process, an Atmel USB driver will pop up. All you need to do is click I agree to the terms and service, and then install. Now that we have the program open, we need to connect it via USB. So now that you have it plugged in, you need to select the correct COM port. You do that by refreshing the COM ports and picking the latest one that is set up. Once you connect, it will start processing the data, which then allows it to do the tracking. So the tracking works by taking the upper right-hand image, which is the raw output of the sensor, and then doing the detection algorithms on it to get the center of mass. You can see that being detected in the lower right, with each model being collected. In the left-hand side, you can see the people counting as the output of the spheres. They are followed by a trail of dots from where they are going. On the right-hand side, you have different options for various features that you can control on this program. There's temperature ranges, which set the different color patterns for the thermal image. You can even turn on show temperature to see what the temperature readings are. It also has the ability to do interpolation to get a cleaner image. This is our resource page for the GridEye Evaluation Kit. On this page, you can find our white paper Pagoda, which has our white papers for the GridEye as well as other applications. We also have the features outlined for this kit, as well as applications that this could be used in. We have our software section, which has the various download links for the software we can provide, as well as the firmware section in order to update the board to the latest usage. We have our documentation to help you walk through using this kit, as well as explaining some of the features, and the source code in order to work on development. We have support tools and useful links to help go even further into the development. And if you're interested in purchasing the kit, we have these useful links that will help you out below. Thank you for your attention. I hope you learned a little bit about the Panasonic GridEye Evaluation Kit that you can use on your next great innovation.